Pam, hey, can you talk about the last uh, interception in the game and uh, what what happened? Yeah, I mean they're just uh, they're bracketing, um, and one of their guys fell off a crowder and made a good play. Um, again, I think it's just trying to do too much, forcing it in there, and guy made a good play. Sam, did did you and Adam talk at all after the game, or have you talked at all after the game? And if so, what did you guys say to each other? I mean, we just kind of talked about the play and uh, other. Not, not really. I mean, I know we're going to talk probably later tonight and tomorrow as well. Sam, what are your thoughts on college football playoff national what are your championship thoughts on, uh, on ESPN on uh, Adam's future and whatnot? I mean, you know, I know there's nothing you can do about it, but uh... can you repeat that? Oh, you're muted. Sam, you just you asked about your thoughts on Adam's future. Um, obviously, there's a decision the organization has to make. Yeah, yeah I mean, um, that's not my decision. Um, you know, I love Adam, love him as a coach, So, um, but it's not my decision. Just as a follow-up, I mean, do you, you – know, I mean, I'm sure probably everybody in that locker room has a similar feelings or not, but do you feel like you've let him down to some degree? Um, you know, I, you know, again, a lot of things are out of your control, but uh, – yeah. Yeah, I mean, I definitely didn't play well this year. I think, you know, there was, you know, really only the two games that we won. You know, I think I can definitely play better in the future. And, um, yeah, I don't think I played well enough this year to, um, yeah, I just, yeah, it wasn't, I wasn't consistent enough. Um, and that's, that's really it. If Adam is if Adam, just as a follow, if Adam is let go, how would you what, what, how would you feel about that? What, I mean, what's your what would be your emotion at this point? Because obviously, this you know it looks like it's kind of headed in that direction. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to deal with hypotheticals right now. Sam, you just went on record to say that you didn't play well enough this year, that you weren't consistent enough. Why do you feel like in your third season, when most experts say that that's when a quarterback makes his biggest leap in the NFL, why do you feel like it didn't happen? I don't know. I think we'll we'll assess again. I I didn't play consistent enough. Um, you know, I'm just right off the bat. I think I made too many impulse decisions, and um, you know, I think I'm I'm gonna look. I'm gonna go back and look at the tape and and figure it out. But um, that's just kind of my thoughts um, right off the jump. Do you, you believe you played your final game as a Jet quarterback? I'm not sure. Sam, will you will you seek an answer um, from Joe Douglas about about what they think about your future? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm sure I'm going to be having conversations with them uh, tomorrow, um, if not, you know, at some point in the near future. Sam, if this was your final game as a Jet, how would you sum it up? How would you sum up your tenure as a franchise quarterback? I'm not going to do that right now. I think you know I'm going to live in the moment and um, just you know. Talk to some of my teammates and the coaches after the after the tough loss and um, go about it that way. But I think, you know, if any, I mean, whether I stay, whether I leave, I think whatever happens, I'll deal with it when it comes. Would you kind of piggybacking off of what Brian said a little bit ago, though, Sam? Would would you want to know sooner rather than later what your future with this team is if you're going to, you know, if they plan on keeping you as the quarterback next? I'll talk to. You know, I'll talk to Joe and those guys um, about it um, when I get a chance to talk to him. I mean, Sam, <laughs> does it seem kind of crazy? I mean, you're only in your third year, and here we are talking about, you know, possibly moving on to another team. When you, when you process that, you know, in your mind, I mean, what, what does that sound like to you? Again, I think for me, it's right now I'm living in the moment, and you know, it's, I'm not going to deal with, oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? I think for me, I just need to, um, you know, right now, um, we just, you know, it was a bad loss against the Patriots. And, uh, you know, I'm going to soak it in, watch the tape and, and, and get better that way. But I'm not going to, you know, worry about any of that until it's uh, front and center. And that's what I need to worry about. Sam, in living in the moment, as you said, um, speaking of today's game in particular, why did you guys have so much success uh, in the first half and none in the second, and not as much in the second half? Why was that? Uh, you guys took a step backwards. 
I mean, I think, you know, I think the turnover um, definitely derailed us a little bit. Um, the first one and obviously the second uh, hurt us really bad. So I just got to take better care of the football. Sam, this might be up 30 minutes off the field, but could you just kind of sum up your emotions, your feelings about just this whole season? Again, I said in the beginning, I didn't play well enough this year and I'm going to assess it. I'm going to watch the tape and, and try to get better that way. But um, that's just kind of my assessment right off the bat. What about from the team perspective, just going through this 2-14 and 14 year and all the challenges of COVID and just kind of what, what kind of season it was? Yeah, it was a crazy year. I think everyone can everyone can agree um, whether you're 2-14 and 14 or um, whether you're 15-1. and one. You know, I think everyone can agree it was crazy. Um, you know, uh, so I don't know. You know, you know, we we had opportunities to to play football and and win games, and and we didn't do that enough. And so, Sam, do you, yeah. Sam, do you believe that the Jets failed in setting you up, setting you up into a position to have success? No, I don't think I don't think I played well enough. Um, like I said in the beginning, so um, that's really all I can worry about.